It's a dark, bleak, windy and wet evening and the WAF rescue crew are out after a fox. Apparently this fox has eaten its way into a garage. Uh, there's a lot of blood all over the place, so whether it's damaged itself eating its way into a garage, we are about to find out. Right, we're looking for number 12, guys. Why are there no numbers? There's number 12, must be this one. Hi, you've got a fox in a garage. I have, I haven't managed to barricade him in yet, but he is in okay. there and he is hurt. All right, no worries, we'll have a deco. Thank you. So, so it's in, in there. there. And, and how did he get can, in? I'll show you around here, through here. Oh, oh my God. Oh, he's made no, I can't believe it. Yeah, I can understand something trying to break out, but not trying to break, break in. in. Oh, let's just see what's going on. I can see an ear at the moment, right in the bottom, if you look through the bike. So there's not going to be a lot of room in here, guys. All right, fella. Just I'm going to try to go this side and get that side of it, but only a bit. You'll have to be right next to me. Hopefully he's not going to move too much and we should be able to grasp him. All right, fella. All right, fella. Right, you've got whatever you need, Laurie, because I'm going to try and grab him from here. I don't think he's going to go anywhere with a bit of luck, but you never know at the last minute what he's going to do. Oh, I'm so smooth. So I'd move the bike out of the way. Um, right, you put the box there, Laurie, probably. I can't see any damage at the moment at all, which is really weird. I'm not that dehydrated either. He looks... Oops. Oh, look. Oh. He's got a foot missing. That's an old injury. I mean, I'd release if I had my way. Yeah. I don't know how old he is, but let's get him in there. All right, fella. Let's get him in there for a minute. So just carry him out like that. If that was a new wound, obviously you'd have to take him back and do something. But that looks like a long, long time ago, and he's obviously been surviving with three legs quite well. Right, you want to go out? Let's get him to the back garden and have a bit more of a better look. I'll get the yeah, okay. All right, fella. All right, let's get him out. All right, come on, fella. How lively is he going to be? All right, so okay. there's the blood from his front leg. All right, sweet one. It's a small wound, but it is. And it'll heal, so it'll heal, won't it? Yeah. Try and have a look at that back leg. That is perfectly healed. There's not even the slightest bit of scarring or anything. Right? I think we should let him go, mate. Hey, sweetheart. All right, little one. really well on that bad back leg and <laughs> he's got a sort of second chance isn't it really because it's obviously been coping all right so well we'll have a look quickly but I'm sure there's nothing else in here it's just weird that it would have tried to fight to get in the thing is it's what front left front left that's injured yeah. on the fox, and the glass is injured on is bleeding on the left hand side yeah. which means the fox has it's to have gone through that side yeah detective Brayley no, it's cool. Let's get some rope and some food and see what we can do. So that like that. With oh, the fox right. now free once more, we set up a temporary cover over the damaged window. This would prevent any further accidents to either animals or people. Hopefully this garage won't be playing host to another furry visitor anytime soon. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.